Okay, so this is part two of the video series on problems on factorization. In this, you have to factorize the following expressions. So we have some fractions here and we have to factorize these fractions. Now, can you apply here factorization by the method of common factors? No, because we don't have any common factors common in all these three terms of this expression. Can we apply uh, factorization by the method of regrouping? No, we cannot. Now, if you look at this expression carefully, then we can actually apply a identity and that is a plus b whole squared that is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. Okay, in fact, I should write the three uh, identities so that we don't have to repeat it every time. And a plus b a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared and a plus sorry x plus a multiplied by x plus b is equal to a squared sorry this is equal to x squared plus a plus b x plus a b so these are the four identities that we will be using in fact in our next couple of videos we'll have a lot of parts on the problems on uh, factorization so these are the identities okay so we can write this as a squared plus 8a plus 16 as a squared then plus and if you write this 16 as 4 squared so this is 2 times a times 4 that is a squared plus 2ab what's b here b is 4 2ab plus b squared it's of this form a plus b whole squared so this is a plus 4 whole squared because b in this case is 4 so a plus 4 whole squared is the factorization of this algebraic expression in this case you have p squared minus 10p plus 25 so this is p squared this 25 is 5 squared so a squared and b squared now here you have 2 p 5 right so a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared form a squared minus 2 a b plus b squared form that is a minus b whole squared right so this is p minus 5 whole squared why p because p in this case is our a and b in this case is our 5 so it's of the form a minus b whole squared right so this is a factorization of this expression now here you have 25 m squared plus 30 m plus 9 this is 25 m squared write it as 5 m whole squared because 5 times 5 is 25 and m multiplied by m is m squared then this is 3 squared so a squared plus b squared plus 2 5 m multiplied by 3 that is 2 times 5 is 10 times 3 is 30 and then m so a squared plus 2 ab plus b squared this form so 5 m plus 3 whole squared it's of the form a plus b whole squared so this is the factorization of this expression in this case you have 49y squared plus 84yz plus 36z squared so this is 7 y whole squared 7 times 7 is 49 and y squared this is 36 z squared so this is 6 z whole squared 6 times 6 is 36 and z multiplied by z z squared plus 2 7 y multiplied by 6 z so 2 times 7 is 14 14 times 6 is 84 and then you have y and z so this is of the form what a squared plus 2 a b plus b squared that is equal to a plus b whole squared therefore this is equal to 7 v 7 y plus 6 z whole squared so this is the factorization of this algebraic expression now in this case you have 4 x squared minus 8 x plus 4 now 4 x squared minus 8 x plus 4 can be written as 2 x whole squared and this 4 as 2 squared and this minus 8 as x as minus 2 multiplied by 2 x multiplied by 2 and this is plus 
So it's of the form a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, that is a minus b whole squared. So in this case, a is our 2x and minus b is our 2. This is whole squared, right? So this is the factorization of this algebraic expression 4x squared minus 8x plus 4. In this case, you have 121b squared and minus 88bc plus 16c squared. So this 121 can be written as 11 multiplied by 11 and b's, b's, b squared can be written as b squared. So 11b whole squared. So 11b whole squared means 121b squared. Then 16c squared means what? 4c whole squared, right? So minus 2, 11b multiplied by 4c plus, so a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, that is equal to a minus b whole squared. So a in this case is 11b minus 4c is b is whole squared. So this is the factorization of this algebraic expression. Now here you have l plus m whole squared minus 4lm, okay, which identity can we use? Well, you cannot use any identity on this expression, but if we change some, by some, a few calculations, you, you can change, uh, you, you can use identity on this expression. How? This is of the form a plus b whole squared, a plus b whole squared. So this is l squared plus 2lm plus m squared, because a plus b whole squared is this. So we have written this. This is minus 4lm. So from here you get l squared. Now 2lm and minus 4lm. 2lm and minus 4lm. So 2lm minus 4lm means what? Minus 2lm, right? And then you have plus m squared. Okay, so now your new expression is this. Now if you look at this carefully, it's actually a squared minus 2ab plus b squared form. a squared minus 2ab plus b squared form. That is equal to a minus b whole squared. Right? L squared minus 2lm and m squared. So this is L minus m whole squared. Identity number 2. Now this is a raised to the power of 4 plus 2a squared b squared plus b raised to the power of 4. So if a raised to the power of 4 means what? a squared whole squared and b raised to the power of 4 means what b squared further raised to the power of 2 so this is plus 2 a squared and b squared plus so it's of the form a squared plus 2ab plus b squared in this case our a is what a squared b is what b squared so if you take this as x so it's of the form x squared plus 2 x if you take this as y so this is 2xy plus y squared that is x plus y whole squared so what's x or what's our x x is a squared so a squared what's y y is b squared and this is whole squared and which identity have we used we have used this identity that is a plus b whole squared okay